Well, you might be gearing up for a big family vacation this week, and some others of you might just be wanting to stay home and relax. And maybe you're working. <laughs> maybe you're right? working. Whether you do something special in February or April or just take it easy, it got us asking, why do we have two school vacation weeks? WBZ's Chris Tanaka went looking for answers. It's a New England tradition. No matter how your family celebrates it. I'm going to go to Canada. It's actually our kid's birthday, so we have plans, Dave and Buster's, maybe friends, pizza. We're going to Texas to see my family. February break hits at just the right time. The holidays are over, it's gray and cold and miserable. Heck, even the crossing guards want to get away. I'm totally ready for break, break not to stand out here twice a day. Really nice, yes. Unconventional, absolutely. New England is the only region of the country where the vast majority of school districts have two vacation weeks post Christmas instead of one week in March. We don't have a February break in Texas. What do you think about it? It's different. <laughs> so, how did all of this start? Well, we went to New England's largest school district for answers. February and April breaks is pretty old. And, um, you know, in doing some research, there really is no, like, who was the person that did the thing. That Ana Tavares is the Boston Public Schools Deputy Superintendent of Family and Community yeah, Advancement. She yeah. notes while the state makes recommendations for when breaks should be, it's ultimately up to each district to make a final decision. Those decisions were made a long time ago, and making any changes to them would require significant community input. The expectation has been set for so long um, that folks really haven't reached out to me directly. There are other considerations as well. Winter and spring sports calendars are interwoven into these breaks. If one school district were to change its vacation structure, well, it would effectively ostracize itself from its respective league. Parents also would need to rearrange workflows and childcare. And don't discount the cultural value in this, even if you are new to it. Besides travel, what would a Texan do in New England in February? I have no idea since I'm still new here. I'm accustomed to it. Yeah. I mean, it's just what we've been doing for the past few decades, I would say. Chris Tanaka, WBC News. We've asked the same question. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot, and especially for parents who have to work, right. trying to find, you know, uh, somebody to help you with your kids during yep. that whole week. I I've never understood why can't, there can't just be one in March. Right, and you put it all right there. Yeah, not to mention we get jealous for all the people who are tra right. traveling, right? You got to hear all those cool things they're doing. <laughs> now, if you have a question you want us to answer, send us an email, tweet us, you can do that as well, WBZ Question Everything.